Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make this hit particle effect in Godot 4.2 that I used for my first game jam and it's also technically an explosion and consider subscribing so let's dive in. So start by making this a 3D scene and hit this plus button and search for GPU and add a GPU particles 3D. You'll see this warning and to fix that we need to make a draw pass. So we're gonna make a new draw pass and make it a quad mesh. I have a white circle here that I'm gonna be using. This is the texture for the particle. So we open up the quad mesh and we drag in this material texture. And it's a PNG, so to make it transparent, we need to open the material up and transparency. On transparency, we need to enable alpha or alpha scissor. I like alpha scissor more and I like setting it to 0.9. Now we go down to billboard and enable and enable keep scale. Enabling keep scale will let us change the scale later. And now we can go to emission. I like having glowing stuff and let's make it red and make the energy 10. Let's go to the albedo and make it darker. So something like this. And now we're pretty much done with the draw pass. So let's close that down and let's go into the process, uh, process material. Make a new process material, new particle process material. Open that up. You'll see it start falling. So let's open that up and let's go into spawn and velocity. And the thing that makes this um, go out in every direction is the spread. So we need to increase that. And we also need some initial velocity. So let's set this to two. And now it starts shooting out a little bit and it's only shooting downwards since there's gravity applied. So to turn off gravity, we go into acceleration and gravity and turn gravity off. And now it starts shooting out in every direction. We can also go to the scale curve um, on display and scale and make a new curve texture. Open the curve texture up and open the curve up and drag the last point down and select it and you have this thing to make it curve nicely. And we already have a pretty good effect. And now for the explosiveness, we want it all to go out in one shot. So we go up and go into the time and on explosiveness, we set this to one and now it's just a nice poof. I also like to set randomness to 0.5 or 1. I don't know why, but I like doing it. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but I like doing it. And I think it's going out too slow, so we're gonna change it to 2. Maybe that's better for when an enemy is, gets hit. That looks quite nice. You could even set it to maybe 3 or something. Obviously it would be on one shot, and then emit once for every hit. So something like that. There's also one more thing I want to show you because there's sort of a bug, I think, because when you uh, have it on one shot and you enable emitting, you see there's some time in between before it can emit again. So if you spam it, nothing happens. And it's because it's not resetting in between, like takes a little bit of time for it to reset. So I'm gonna make a new script, make a new enemy script. And let's say you have a function for when your player gets hit, you basically have to reset it in between. So you drag in the particle and set emitting to true. And in between you also have to make it restart. And I found this fix on GitHub where someone mentioned that it's a bug and I found someone that commented that this fixes it and it worked so that's great and that's pretty much it for the GPU particles uh, hit effect explosion whatever you want to call it and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one